Hello and welcome you all to the Achiever Sada platform. So welcome to the session number one of the business environment previous year questions. This questions practice will be useful for three most important examinations, all the commerce competitive examinations. Specifically, UGC net and all the state set exam, including Andhra and Telangana set. JLDL AP and Telangana commerce examination and assistant professor commerce, including the Tamil Nadu assistant professor and Karnataka as well. So, because wherever business and environment topic is there, almost in every examination of commerce competitive exam, business and environment is the usual topic to be given. So, today we are going to have the conceptual multiple choice questions with a proper explanation will be there with related to business environment so it will be delivered by me myself Godnala Shivlingam, a qualified net job in commerce i am teaching for the ugc net paper one and paper two commerce and uh, assistant professor jldl commerce examination since the almost last uh, five and a half years so if you are first time over here please do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and do follow us in our group also so either you can join in any one group you can join in any one group so if you are preparing for ug senate exam telegram on the Pradesh and telangana separate whatsapp groups are available for the set exam ap jldl commerce specific group is available and tamil nadu assistant professor commerce group is also separately available all the links are in the description and if you are preparing for ugc net exam paper one and commerce complete course no need to refer anything separately both papers 6199, single paper 1 or single paper 2 commerce 3599 it is going to be there. Complete coverage of everything, no need to refer anything separately apart from this. APPSC and TTD, JLDL commerce related course, complete coverage in Telugu plus English medium paper 2 commerce and PDF material will be in English medium. It is already full length covered course in a recording form 4500, you can able to get it. And also, if you are belong to APR Telangana set exam or APR set examination, paper one, general paper, Telugu plus English medium of explanation, complete course, paper one, one triple nine, and paper two, only in English medium for the commerce, one triple nine. But if you are going to take both course, which is full recorded course of both papers, then it will be three, four, double nine will be there. If you are interested, you can join with us from the given mobile number. You can contact on the WhatsApp and uh, you can clarify your doubts also. Let's start the question number one of this session without late. Here it is. You can see the question number one. Conceptually, very basic question, but highly conceptual in nature. So, please look at the question carefully and uh, answer in the chat box. Yes, uh, Kumar, Sindhu Kumar, you are correct. No need to refer any other. This is fully covered and it is prepared after referring to the standard books which is there. Let's get started. Question number one. Business environment is a sum total of all external factors that influence the, that influence the business. Internal and external factor does not affect the business internal factor which can influence the business both a as well as c are correct so which one will be the correct option according to you for this given question hello raman Pina. pavitra hello good evening please do answer in the chat box So your answer is answer is going to be option number D. So option number D both A and C because internal and external factor does not is not at all correct. External factor which can influence and internal factor which can influence are part of the business environment. So, generally, business environment is of two types. It can be 
uh, external environment and it can be an internal environment. In external environment also we have micro external environment, we have internal environment. External is classified into micro and macro that I will discuss in upcoming question. Question number two. Which among the following is not a characteristics of a business environment? Not a characteristics of business environment. Uncertainty, interrelatedness, unrelatedness, relativity, certainty. Please do hit a like button if you like the session. You can hit a dislike button if you don't like a session. Answer is, absolutely it will be answer number A only. Why it is A? Because one, you, one thing you can eliminate from the question, one thing you can eliminate from the option. So your unrelatedness, every time it will be a related word because one character of a business will be impacting on the other. It will be obviously a related word. Unrelatedness is not at all correct. So, interdependency will be there. One factor will be depending upon the other to influence the business. So, there will be uncertainty which is facing uncertainty we call it as a risk in our business. Future is uncertain. We cannot predict about the future. So, here there was a COVID-19 pandemic. No business or no one who has predict, predicted that COVID will come and it will impact on our economy like this. So, that is uncertainty. Facing uncertainty is nothing but it is a risk. Interrelatedness means one factor and other factor both are related to each other. It will not be impacting directly. It may be indirectly related to each other, may not be directly. Relativity means same interrelatedness and relativity both are one and the same. If you look at that all characteristics of the business environment, we have a general forces, specific forces. General forces are nothing but all macro environmental factor and specific forces are only related to your micro like company related interrelated means closely business environment and parts of the business one is depending upon the other and your relativity it's a concept which is differ from country to country see relativity from country to country how you deal the business will be different right so political condition geopolitics or else in that country economy and their legal restrictions cultural restrictions that will be making different from one country to another country to deal with the business. Which among the following are the component of specific forces of an environment? Specific forces of an environment. Which of the following are the specific forces of the environment? Not a, not a component. They are asking not a component. Not a component. Technological condition, customers, employees, investors. Specific is related to one firm or a one company which are directly impacting on our business. So answer will be A. Technological is an external macro environmental factor. External macro means this is going to have an impact on entire economy or entire industry we will say. It will be impacting on entire industry or economy. 
entire industry or economy will be there. Technological conditions. That's a general force. So this is a general force rather than specific force. Customers, employees, investors are not part of the specific forces. Whereas technology, sorry, these are part of the specific forces which are micro external factors. Micro external. Sir, looking like these are internal factors now. No, I will tell you the difference soon. In one of the question, it will get revealed. These are micro external environment or external micro environmental factors are comes under this. Whereas this is an external macro environmental factor, PESIL analysis. Next, the growing awareness about the healthcare has led to increase in the demand for a healthcare product and services in the industry. So, identify the feature of environment being described in the above case. Is it dynamic nature, uncertainty, relativity, interrelatedness? Good evening, Babita. Yes, non-character. Correct, Kina. Questions are very easy to answer when we are in class. Same question when it displayed in the examination, you will feel difficult. Because with the roots, you are aiming for the sky. That's a problem in the recent comparative examination. So, your answer is option number D, interrelatedness. Interrelatedness is the correct answer. Interrelatedness is the correct answer because of healthcare awareness about the healthcare led to increase in demand for the healthcare product. So, the awareness of healthcare product has created a demand for, so the awareness of health means health is important. Nowadays, every uh, there in the social, everywhere in the social media, many YouTube channels and many gurus are coming. They are uh, promoting about Ayurvedic and the old and traditional food methods. They are promoting it. Actually, due to that awareness, now. Healthcare product, now olden type of food ingredients are getting it. Mission and objectives, quality of human resources, customers and marketing intermediaries, organization, corporate culture. Which one is correct? Not an internal means three are external, one is internal. Sorry, three are internal, one is external. Most, 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 most important, sir, this chart 100 percent objectives of organization as well as. A culture of the organization and labor union, physical resources, technological, physical resource and technological. This technology is not of this one. This is internally related one. So that is internal environment. Here external environment is again divided into two parts. One is that suppliers of input. One is micro environment and macro environment. External micro, external macro. External micro suppliers of input, customers, marketing intermediaries, competitor, publics and all. Whereas external macro environmental factors are economic, political, legal. This is a special analysis. Political, economic, uh, socio-cultural, technological, legal and uh, ecological. All these are special analysis. Comes under the external macro environment. Alright. So chart is more important. Same question will repeat. In which of the following internal factors influence the strategy and other decision in a firm?
internal factor influence the strategy and other decisions of the business. So answer is D. All are internal only. Just now we have seen the example. All three are internal. All three are covered here in the internal. Micro environment is also known as direct, indirect, same, fine. <laughs> this is like a English literature. Spoke, uh, English, general English question type. Micro environment is also known as direct environment, indirect environment, same environment, fine environment. Answer is A. Micro is direct. Which one is indirect? Macro. See, not only micro, even micro as well as internal environment, both are direct. And here, macro environment is an indirect. External factor affecting a business also referred to as dash factors. Uncontrollable, controllable, relevant, global. Which are external or generally external is the uncontrollable factor. External is an uncontrollable. But let me explain two things. Sir. External when they are asking generally uncontrollable in nature. That is clear. No doubt about it. But when they are asking specifically external micro environmental factors are controllable or uncontrollable means. We cannot say fully uncontrollable, external micro are somehow manageable in nature. Rather than using the controllable word, these are manageable because the customers we can able to manage, uh, the dealership or the distribution network we can able to manage, which is the intermediary, to who, the supplier selection we can manage. We can compete with the competitors, we can manage them. We cannot control, but we can able to manage, that's how the business will run. Whereas external macro environment will be uncontrollable in nature. Will be uncontrollable in nature. External business environment will be uncontrollable in nature. Generally external says uncontrollable. Specifically external micro says manageable in nature. Right. Next up. To determine the company's attractiveness to business required. To determine a country's attractiveness to business required. Sir, uh, whoever is preparing for uh, Andhra Pradesh degree and junior lecturer, JL and DL, in your syllabus, business environment limited mention. But don't go with a limited version of it only. You have to prepare for the remaining topics also, somehow. Don't go with the four lines which is mentioned in the syllabus. So answer for this question. Answer is D. All of the above. Why it is all of the above? Countries attractiveness to business required. All the elements of macro is important. And political and financial risk also macro. Competitive environment is also macro. All these factors are important to analyze. Then only you can do the business how to uh, grow the business is most important in analyzing these factors if you don't analyze then you will be uh, lacking in competitiveness in the industry main objective of the society and the business is economic and social objective cultural objective technological objective non-objective 
guys if you like the session you can hit a, a like button and you can subscribe to the channel join in our group as well if you are not liking a session you can hit a dislike button and unsubscribe to the channel so answer is option a economic and social because society and business perspective they are looking at society and business perspective they are looking at society and business perspective they are looking at economic and social objective is nothing but you are looking for a profit that is economic objective and also you are looking for a social welfare of the public because society is giving much you should give something back to the society that's what a motto of corporate social responsibility section number 135 of companies act 2013 comes into play so because of this social objective of the business only social and societal both are different social main objective is that public welfare social objective is that public welfare whereas societal is that societal means first you earn a profit you gain your goodwill then serve the society so in societal objective profit will be primary public welfare will be a secondary in social objective public welfare will be primary profit is secondary charitable institution we can say example for social companies are societal consider the following of statements and identify the type of economic system involved. Consumers and producers have a freedom of choice. Encourages innovation and efficiency. Income is set by the market forces. Socialist economy, capitalist economy, mixed economy, all of the above. Economic system. We have three systems of economy. Capitalist economy, socialist economy or planned economy and mixed economy. We have three types of economic system. Answer is B. Only B. Only B is correct. Because they are given the characteristics of capitalist economy. Consumers and producers are having a freedom of choice. Why? In capitalist economy, government control is full or else private control is there in capitalist economy. Encourages innovation and efficiency, income set by the market forces. So, let me explain. Capitalist economy, government will not involve. In capitalist economy, private are the owners. In socialist economy, government are the owners. In mixed economy, nobody partially private plus government to some extent both together will be there so that's why these are the characteristics freedom of choice innovation efficiency demand and supply which are market forces all those are part of the capitalist economy only this is how trap will come looking like all of the above the moment it comes in the option now you people will go for that only without even checking out the concept which is given in the statements generally that's a tendency now laissez fair policy is adopted in socialist capitalistic communist and mixed economic system
lazy each pair lazy each pair means lazy simply who is lazy government is lazy or the business persons are lazy who is lazy in this that's what the important point to understand answer is b here government is lazy the point is government is lazy means government will not even involve in the execution of a business government does not have any control over the business practices that's an capital economic system capitalist economic system it will be purely working on the demand and supply which are market forces of the environment only it is not depending upon the government control that's an lazy chair government is going to be lazy our government importance is not even there in the economic system india is a good example for socialist economy mixed economy capitalist economy communist economy actually india since our 1944 to 1951 it was declared to be an initially a socialist economy sir initially a capitalist economy later it became a cap uh, socialist economy in 1951 onwards after the declaration of i think uh, industrial policy 1956 onwards sorry not 51 56 onwards it became socialist economy now india is a good example for which economy is a question answer is now it is a mixed economy sir because government control is there in fixing up prices law is there rules and regulations and price ceiling price ceiling price flooring like mrp minimum price maximum price fixation is done by the government whoever is going beyond the mrp are punishable under the law and there are uh, uh, rules and regulation related to manufacturing as well as service industries and trading related rules and regulations also there so to some extent government is controlling the industries even taxation policies also in the economy so and to some extent the prices are being fixed by economy of the country which is demand and market forces demand and supply forces a mixed economy is necessarily a dash economy a controlled economy a planned economy organized economy and none of the above a mixed economy necessarily a a mixed economy as a necessarily a economy controlled planned organized none of the above mixed economy is an answer 14th answer is b all bounds full bounds mixed economy is an b actually uh, answer is i'm thinking whether it is answer correct or not because planned economy is a socialist economy not the mixed economy Uh, the appropriate answer can be c i think not even b okay because planned economy socialist economy we call it as a planned economy generally uh, so it can be organized properly organized means up to some extent control will be there beyond some extent there will be a demand and market forces it should be c it is controlled uh, but in the context of full control na plan will come if you say control that will be a socialist at some point is indicating you are only saying that at some point we cannot say assuredly that it is controlled only so it can be organized to some extent it will control to some extent it will not control that's why evolution of industrial policy divide into how many phases
5 comma 6 uh, sir 5 6 7 4 industrial policy how many phases so initial industrial policy was 1948 later 1956 later uh, there were two amendments also 1977 or 1981 something was there this i am not sure i will explain uh, in 1991 again there is a massive change in the industrial policy due to lpg so how many they are this answer is option number c it is seven phases actually so total 1948 industrial policy resolution was brought up and of our industrial policy statement was there later 1940 uh, 1956 policy was introduced resolution 1973 1977 1980 and 1990 these four are just amendment small small changes are slowly slowly removing the licensing system amendments we should we can say it these are amendments only whereas full fledged revised policy is an lpg so total seven phases of industrial policy was there in India. How many? Yes, it is seven phases. Which industrial policy made it clear that India was going to be a mixed economy? In which industrial policy? Government of India has declared that we are going to become a mixed economy. Till that time from 1956 onwards, we declared to be a socialist economy initially. Later, we became mixed economy from which industrial policy onwards. Answer is 1948. So, year 1948 till 1956, India is mixed. 1956, for certain period, it was planned our socialist economy. For certain period, that's why licensing system was introduced. Full government control was introduced. FDA was not allowed at that time from 1956 onwards and there was a, so many barriers for doing a trade in India. So with that planned economy, but this planned economy was removed later. Slowly, slowly licensing system was removed. 1948 industrial policy aimed at industrialization, growth of agriculture, development of infrastructure and service sector. Answer is option number A, industrialization, because industrialization was the main motto behind 1948 policy. If you look at this 1948 policy, role of cottage and small scale industries were more. So here economic development and it provides encouragement to these industries, mainly cottage and small scale industries development is major priority so that employment opportunities will be created for the local uh, unemployed persons. 1991 industrial policy government has given a clarification that it would permit 100 percent fdi in equity a high priority industries in case in this uh, question i wanted to tell one more thing highest fdi country in india highest foreign direct investment inflow from which country
So answer to this question and uh, later this question. In which India is going to allow FDI? In which industry as per the 1991 policy? So answer is C. FDA foreign equity was allowed 100 percentage where entire output was exported. Suppose you we are inviting FDA into such industry where that whatever produced from FDA investment uh, whatever the production which is happening that will be exported to other countries. In those type of industries to export to other countries to increase the India's trade. We will be allowing 100% FDA as per the 1991 policy. Initially, FDA was, al uh, was allowed like that. But later, slowly, slowly now, many uh, major important industries like a railway, atomic energy, all this were prohibited for the FDA. Remaining all are open for the FDA at a respective percentages. From 26% to 100% in majority of the industries, it was allowed. So, highest FDA inflow from which country? Absolutely, Singapore was last year, sir. Singapore was last year. Now it is Mauritius. Now it is Mauritius. Okay. This answer is C and this is Mauritius. Mauritius is the largest FDI inflow from which country is Mauritius. And highest FDI inflow is there in which state of the Government of India. So, from all over India, in which state FDA inflow is more? FDA inflow is more in which state? Karnataka is having highest FDA inflow state wise, country wise, highest inflow from which, which country to India? From Mauritius to India, highest. All right. These two points, please remember. In which of the following countries industrial revolution took place first? France, Germany, England, USA. Revolution has been taken place in first. Which country? Answer is that C, England it is. So, England, first industrial revolution began in Great Britain, that is England in 1700 century and 1800, it was significant innovation. Last and final question of this session, the role of consumerism has a consumer education, product rating, lies on with government and with producers. Consumerism. What does that consumerism means? Answer is option D. All of the above are part of the consumerism. Let me explain what is consumerism. See, it's an idea of increasing consumption of goods. Means about the goods, what type of goods they are. Is it healthy for the people or not? Or else any harmfulness is there for the people or the human. Because by consuming that one, any harm can happen to the body. So like that you should inform before purchasing. These goods are subject to, or these goods are not good for the health, like that. So you should increase the awareness about the product usage and product quality and the product quantity, which should be well-being and happiness of the consumer only. So that is what consumerism. It's about awareness about the product, awareness about the product related things. Government is trying to uh, create awareness. That's why we have a Consumer Protection Act. Uh, 1986, now it is 2019 new law also there. 2023 Consumer Protection Amendment Act also was introduced recently. 
2023 consumer protection amendment was also there right so these are the question remaining question will be covered in tomorrow's session so if you find this session is useful and useful for your preparation of the examination then you may hit a like button that will motivate us and it will recommend to others also our channel and we'll get more uh, engagement in the video also and please do share with your known friends if anybody is there who are preparing for assistant professor set exam or net exam or jr of whatever thank you so much have a great day good night everyone